Bristol, a wild finish for the round of the playoffs. And now we have the round of 12. It's set. It's locked. But we also have 19 winners on the season. Tell Steve Wiltart. There's 19. <laughs> 19, 19. 19. God, but, wait. Did, but did, he thought it wasn't going to be. playoffs. I know. Yeah, that, tomato, tomato, listen, whatever. I, I got I, your back, I Steve. I, I can't, got believe, you back I can't believe there's 19. I, okay. I just can't. Exactly. So it's tied for the most since 1972 and 2001. This is the most different winners we have seen in a season. I got a chance to catch up with winner number 19, also known as driver number 17 in victory lane. Here's what Chris Busher had to say at Bristol. This is one that has been on top of my list. I'd take this over any other win that we, any other racetrack we go to. This is this is the one for me. So just uh, so appreciative of this group, everybody on this fast and all team. Get fast on victory lane, a points race finally after all these years. That's a, that's a big one for us. Get uh, the Ford group back in here and uh, with the unveil of the new Mustang this week, it's definitely a special time. Got a lot of buzz around it. So um, it's on concrete, which is the one I wanted. So it's, uh, it's all adding up. This is a really special night for us. Mamba, 19 different winners, a sweep of playoff wins by the non playoff drivers in this round of 16. Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Chris Busher. Is it a cause for concern, however, that the playoff drivers? <laughs> can't get it done. We can't close one out. We cannot have a driver that locks in. I don't think it's a problem at all. I think it's great. It, I, I, you can call it a problem. I mean, it's a great problem. It's a problem for the playoff yeah, drivers. Well, yeah, that's yeah. their problem. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're these other guys and these other teams, you should be excited that you're competing at such a high level. And it really makes it to where you look at it. And this car and the product that we have now, it is showing up. And the the level has been equaled, and that's what we want. We want more teams to be able to win, more drivers to be able to win. I am loving it, and now you gotta navigate that. Yeah. And now now it's not just, okay, we're kicking people out of the playoffs, and you gotta navigate those fast guys. Yeah. You gotta navigate through 20 to 22 yeah. good cars. Fact. Now, and it's yeah. great. Uh, and, and I love this. I love this for one simple fact. Once they started the playoffs, the chase, whatever you want to call it, all the teams that didn't make the playoffs, mm -hmm. their sponsors would say, well, we never get any publicity. We don't get anything. Now they're getting all the publicity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're getting all yeah. of it. I mean, so it shows the sponsors and the partners in the sport that just because your team doesn't make the playoffs, you can still be a factor. Yep. That's the best. But for me, I think that's big for the sport. So I talked to your dad when we were at Bristol, and, and RP said, I asked him to win one of the 26, and of course he wins the 27. <laughs> talking about Eric Jones. Yeah. So just from an organization side of things, does it mean less when you win no. and it's not a playoff win? There is no, there is, there is not a lesser hmm. cup win. Okay. Okay. There are some that are a little bit more. Right. Meaning yeah. Daytona and Darlington. And some, yeah. They're a little bit more, but there's nothing as a driver. There's nothing like a cup win. So there is no such thing for a sponsor or for anyone else. When you put your name and you put that car in victory lane and you're holding that trophy, uh, that means everything. I'll go over and say, too, like when you're not in the playoffs and you get to be a disruptor. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that feels, oh, that that's feels a satisfaction good. thing. Ooh, and you got somebody that's on the bubble and you can, <laughs> you can take something away from them. Yeah. Ooh, that feels That's good. a great point. Mm. Yeah. Great point.